I got some heavy poop. Yeah, I'm not kidding. I got some heavy poop right there, right on the package. Heavy poop. Yeah, unreal name for this new bait. Um, I don't really know how new it is. It's new to me. It hasn't been in the States for very long. This is a Japanese bait. This runs in line with the uh, cover scat. And I don't know what the obsession is naming these things poop other than, they, you know, scat and poop. And I don't know, man. I guess they think it's funny. Um, but it does kind of look weird. But this one's different. Uh, I'll compare the cover scat with this in a second, but let's talk about this bait straight up right out of the box. I have two colors. I, well, it's written in Japanese. Chartreuse and pumpkin. And then I have just the green pumpkin straight up. The design from this point up looks very much like a cover scat. That's where the difference is. On the back side of this bait, it looks like it has claws. Now they're connected and they don't separate and I don't think they're intended to be separated, but they do look like a crayfish kind of kicking its claws forward and swimming backwards. So at least unlike the cover scat, which to me kind of looks like nothing, this could look like something, but the fish kill the cover scat. So I see no reason why they wouldn't kill this thing. It's kind of the same thing, same idea. And it has raised bumps along the ridge. I don't know if you can see that, but those bumps are hook tip covers. So basically when you Texas rig through this thing and your hook comes out the backside, you find one of those bumps and bury your hook tip so you're weedless. And on the backside, of course, you have the hook slot. It's not very deep. I'm sure you could use an offset hook or a wide gap hook with this, so that would be fine. Yeah, this is really a nice alternative. One of the things I like best about it is it's available. You know, the cover scats you can't buy anywhere. Talking attributes, no smell. It smells like a rubber raft when you get it out of a package, you know, like when you go to the beach. So there's no odor. It does look a little bit more traditional plastic bait-like, meaning it's more waxy rubbery than it is salty granular rubbery. And if you deal with a lot of soft plastic baits, you know exactly what I'm saying. So I think this will be a little stronger and maybe hold up better, but only time will tell. I haven't even used these yet. I found out about these. Pat told me, hey, there's this lure out there. It's actually called Heavy Poop. And <laughs> he was like, you should try it out. It's available. We can buy them at least. And yeah, I, I like the way they look. I, I would think if you're on the water and there's a buddy of yours fishing a cover scat and he's knocking the fish dead and you only have a bag of these, I think these would work equally as well. But I guess you don't know until you know. I think they're so close or similar that it should be fine. And let's get a real close look at the pumpkin green color. You guys probably can't see it, but a lot of light shines through this. So it's not as densely colored as the cover scat. It's just a little bit more light letting, which could be good in certain situations. So I don't know. I'm not really worried too much about it one way or the other. I think they're both going to work fine. Cover scat and the heavy poop. But at least the heavy poop guys came right out of the gates and just said, you know, we're not going to dance around the, the word and say scat or anything. We're just going to say poop. Poop. Poop's a weird word. Who came up with the word poop? Poop. Um, this is the 3.6 inch version. They say it weighs 18 grams. So it's a pretty heavy, dense bait. It falls kind of like backwards like the other cover scat. It falls pretty quickly. You don't need a weight. You can fish it with a hook. I would fish it on fluorocarbon leader or straight mono or straight fluoro. If you are using offset hooks or wide gap hooks, I would take your pliers and pinch down the barb. These fish usually swallow this pretty quickly and whole. Now the guy on the, the heavy poop commercial says what you do is you cast them out, you let them sink all the way to the bottom, and you just reel them very slowly across the bottom, just barely moving them across the bottom. I, I typically have better luck, at least in my experience, throwing them all the way out, letting them hit the bottom. I'll usually get picked up on the cast or the first lift and fall. Usually when it's fallen that second time, I'll get picked up if there's fish around. Fish can't resist these, these little nugget baits like that. I mean, you guys know you've used the, the Ned Riggs and the small little bite-sized baits. This is no different. It's just a little more girthy. This is something you should definitely put in your tackle box. They're expensive. They're $10 a bag, and you think you get, you get six of them. So you're paying a little over a dollar each. So they're not cheap. 
I don't think it's a great buy, but I do think it's a great bait. So definitely put some cover scats or heavy poops in your bag this year. But let's take a look at the two of them side by side. Now, don't hold the look or appearance of this cover scat against it because it's used. Here they are side by side. The heavy poop is bigger. And I can tell you by holding it, the heavy poop is heavier. Um, but you can see very close similarities in the way that these baits look. Just different, but kind of the same. So what do you guys think? Do you think they're interchangeable? I think it's pretty close. And if anything, I think the heavy poop has a look with those claws that I think could be advantageous. And I think the cover scat has a few features that I like. The top of the hook scoop right near the mouth. And I like the deep hook slot. You can really bury an offset hook in this thing and get it super weedless, but it does not have multiple dimples. It just has one large dimple on the top. So there you have it, the heavy poop. Go out and get yourself some, see if they work. And I will talk to you guys soon. Happy New Year, everybody. It's 2022, and it is time to get busy and making it a great year. And I have nothing else to say.